A lot of times people ask me what my favorite four-man rock group is, and my answer is always Mount Rushmore. <laughs> Hey folks, welcome to This Week in History, and as always, we want to start off by thanking our patrons, Steve Stevens, Clayton Jaimez, The Hayes Family, Patrick Freeman, Mark Penn Griffin, and this week we've got a newcomer with Casey Johnston. Welcome aboard, good sir, and thanks to all of our patrons for their support, and to all of you for your support through liking, sharing, subscribing, all that good stuff. But if you want to do a little bit more to support us, you can always check out our Patreon. There's a link down in the description. Anywho, let's get to it. On September 11th, 1649, the New Model Army under Oliver Cromwell successfully ended the eight-day siege of Drogheda, taking the city from a coalition of the Irish Catholic Confederation and English Royalists during the beginning of the Cromwellian conquest of Ireland. The city's garrison and a significant number of the city's civilians were executed, which was par for the course when it came to Cromwell's actions in Ireland. On September 12th, 1683, a combination of multiple Europe European armies defeated the Ottoman Empire at the Battle of Vienna. This halted the Ottoman advance into Europe during the Austro-Ottoman War. On September 13th, 1759, the British defeated the French near Quebec City at the Battle of the Plains of Abraham during the Seven Years' War, or as we call it over here in the New World, the French and Indian War. It ended the British siege of Quebec, and after the British victory, the French abandoned the city and it fell into British hands. It should also be added that the generals on both sides were killed in battle. On September 14th, 919, the Battle of Iceland Bridge took place between a coalition of Irish kingdoms and the Vikings based in Dublin, with the Irish seeking to end the Viking presence in Ireland. The Irish ended up losing the battle and five of the kings, including High King Niall Glunda, being killed during the battle. On September 15th, 1530, the miraculous portrait of St. Dominique in Soriano was first displayed in Soriano. Calabro in Italy, and yes, the portrait itself was considered to have miraculous origins and supposedly responsible for over 1,500 verified miracles. And it was so highly revered that from 1644 to 1912, September 15th was commemorated as a feast day by the Roman Catholic Church. Yes, a feast day for a portrait. On September 16th, 1920, a bomb inside a horse-drawn wagon exploded in front of the J.P. Morgan building on Wall Street in New York City, killing an estimated 38 people and injuring another 400. The case was never solved, but was ultimately blamed on Italian immigrants. On September 17th, at 1176, a Byzantine force was ambushed in a mountain pass by the Seljuk Turks at the Battle of Mirio Kefalon, ending the Byzantine's final attempt to retake Inner Anatolia or Asia Minor, if you want to call it that instead. And that's just going to about do it for this week, but we'll see you back here next week. Same Squirrel time, same Squirrel channel. Be happy, be healthy, and y'all come back now, you hear? 